The rivalry, Bentonville versus Fayetteville. Sometimes it just means more. And today, it meant everything as these two teams took to War Memorial Stadium to face off with a state title on the line for the first time since 2014. This is why we love sports. It doesn't get any better than this. Dun, digga, digga, dun, dun, dun. We got to see the eye of the tiger first. Opening drive, quarterback Carter Nye rising up to the challenge of his rivals, finds his receiver, J.J. Spafford, who takes it the rest of the way for six. But it's been since 2016, since Purple Rain, and the dogs doing all they can to make it happen again. Drake Lindsey saying, let's get crazy. Let's go nuts. Hits Locke McKinney to tie it up. And he was looking for more, but he's under pressure. And some Sometimes it makes diamonds on the football field. It's INTs. Tosses it up, and it's tipped and picked off by Max Ortiz. Bentonville will get a field goal out of that and go up 10-7 going into the half to start the second. Bulldogs marching right down the field. Lindsey, he's back. Finds Jason Delamar, who takes it all the way to the two a couple plays later. Christian Setzer finds the end zone to put the Bulldogs up 14-10. Bentonville once again right back at it. Nye to C.J. Brown to give the lead back to the Tigers on the money, and he goes in P.A would be no good, so it's 16-14. After the team's trade turnovers, the dogs capitalize as Setzer finds a crease and is in for his second touchdown of the day. They go for two to make it a six-point game. Smart decision, and Lindsey finds McKinney, you guessed who, nice job holding on to that one as the dogs are up 22-16 with seven minutes left. But we join with just a few seconds left. One final chance on fourth and long, but it is incomplete. What do you do on the Hail Mary? You knock it down, and that's what the dogs do as they take the game 22-16 to become 7A state champions for the first time since 2016.